keep forgetting that I look like this, and I'm like, and a cat. Meow. Ew. <laughs> for a very long time, but now it's actually spooky season. Happy Halloween, everyone. Let's do this. Today we're watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine season one, episode six, Halloween. Let's do it. Before we get into it, yes, there's a whole thing with like copaganda right now. We do not believe in that. We do not support that. However, we do love a good Halloween episode and Brooklyn Nine-Nine does some of the best Halloween episodes on television. So that's just what we're doing right now. To your cocktail shaker full of ice, add two ounces of whiskey with a Y, not an E. Very important distinction. One, ah, ah, ah. Two, ah, ah, ah. Hello? Terrible sound. <laughs> Follow it up with one ounce of vermouth. Dry vermouth, not sweet vermouth. Very important distinction. Half an ounce of maraschino liqueur, or if you don't feel like buying an entire bottle of something like we did, what you can do is add a little bit of your maraschino cherry syrup and then put a teeny tiny bit of vodka. So it'll be about like half and half-ish of each. Shake it up and put it in the fridge. Maraschino liqueur. A spliggity splash of some aromatic bitters. Splash, happy Halloween. And because Caitlin likes sweet drinks, we're gonna add a little bit of actual maraschino syrup. We're just eyeballing it here. Shake it up! <laughs> now, get your chilled glass. Show your fingerprints so you know it's really chilled. Strain into your chilled glass and ooh, it looks like blood. Finish off your Halloween violence by stabbing you some cherries for a snickety snack. A snickety snack. Happy Halloween, baby. And that is your Brooklyn's Nine Nine. Oh, complete with cat hair. Complete with cat hair. Happy Halloween. We have cats. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> you don't like it, huh? Whiskey is not my thing. Meanwhile, I love whiskey, but drinkable? Yeah. Drinkable, a sip and drink. Cool. So, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I know you've seen it before because that was one of the things that we binged before we started Watch Me Wasted. Yeah, it was a quarantine binge for sure. It was a quarantine binge. What do we think of the show? Oh, it's a funny show. Mm -hmm. I like it, the dynamic cast and they all play well off of each other. Yeah, and there's a nice diverse cast. Exactly. They do touch on some more like Hot button issues. Do you like my impression of a hot button? Hot button issues. And they handle it in an okay way? For network I mean, television? Yeah, at least they're touching on them, so. True. But I absolutely adore the Halloween hikes. Oh, they're so much fun. They are so fun. They are so ridiculous. They really ride that like chaos gremlin line where I like to live because I am a chaos gremlin, even though in the bird box video. <laughs> Once again, plug for the last video we did. I became less of the chaos gremlin and more of the concerned mom. Yeah. While you were chaos gremlining it. It's fine. I think we take turns. For sure. You definitely uh, were a lot of chaos when you had the blindfold on. <laughs> That's true. Make sure that you have a friend so that you can be the chaos goblin while they're actually like minding as a <laughs> watchful mom. Have a good dynamic with your friends and have a Halloween. Have a Halloween. Have a Halloween, part one. You don't, don't hate it as much as a widget drink, though. Sure. I don't hate it. I just would never be caught dead ordering this. The fun thing about this is this is a Brooklyn cocktail, which is a derivative of the Manhattan, mm -hmm. and that's what we made for The Witcher. Link to that video was also down there somewhere. Watch our videos. Also subscribe. We're doing this early. Cheers! Let's get to watching! Garbage. <laughs> However, we don't need to say 
like, oh, all the girls in a dress sexy, because that's one of my favorite things to do, is to make not sexy things sexy. Insert picture here of slutty Statler Waldorf from the Muppets. Also, I've done slutty Cosmo Wan and Timmy Turner. Very funny. Would recommend. Can you magically make everyone kind sober and fully dressed? Kind sober and fully dressed. Good news, everyone. We found the name of Santiago's sex tape. Is that the first joke? Is that the first time a joke was made? I think so. What a good episode! Have we covered how I have, like, I don't want to say an inexplicable crush on, but, like, definitely a very real crush on Andy Samberg? I mean, you are Andy Samberg. Steve here got mugged. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like, also physically attracted to him. Okay. Yeah. It's, my type is wild and all over the place. Yeah, right. But, like, Andy Samberg is in the mix there for me. Cool. Sense of humor is very important. That's fair. Have you heard Stephanie Beatrice actually talk? No. What is her voice sound like? High pitched. Ew. Yeah. What? She's literally pitching her voice down in this character. It's wild. The first time I saw an interview with her, I was like, put the thing back where it came from or so help me. <laughs> because it was bananas. Oh my god. My laptop background image is from this episode. <laughs> Listen, am I like uneducated or does Mario Batali really wear like Crocs and shorts? Please leave a five star review or comment down below to let us know because I have no idea. Crocs is like a common footwear for chefs. Per like my Ooh. sister who is in culinary school, oh, sounds like costume duty shorts right? I know are so not right? common though because, because, because you want to wear pants and not like tight pants in case you spill something on well, yourself. Yeah. 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 But also that would be my concern with Crocs because like holes, right? I mean, so. yeah, but like hot soup on your foot. I think they're more worried about slippage, like a little stabby. I mean, they could go through any shoe. Not any shoe. You're not gonna wear steel toe shoes <laughs> in the kitchen. Not this day, turn the time. Turn the time? Right. That's me. That is you. <laughs> For her to win, you have to sacrifice your kid. That's exactly how you lose it, too. The microphone is cursed. <laughs> That's cool. I just wanted to hang out with me. Haunted. Happy Halloween. Come on, Amy, loosen up! Am I, like, exceedingly boring? Like, this does not look fun. Non-withstanding. Yes, clubbing does not look fun like this. It's too many people. It's very sweaty and like sticky, and people will grind right up on you. I feel like if it was like a private party and I knew everyone there, yeah, then sure. But I would still leave early. We've done that before. Yes, we are the queens of Irish goodbyes. Do you remember the time we took a grocery cart? Like we found one when we were leaving a party. And like, it was not a grocery <laughs> cart, it was a wheelchair. <gasps> oh my god, and I like, remember this. Yeah, like, and just pushing it. <laughs> just pushing my something. Feet like, hurt. It. <laughs> um, hello podcast, and subsequently the YouTube video. Oh my god, pause on this story because this is my laptop background. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. Um, so, we were leaving a party, early, as we do, yep. and there was a random wheelchair that was discarded nearby. Don't worry, we live and were somewhere where like someone did not need it like they were it was fully... it was there for um like someone to get to there from the yeah, parking exactly. lot essentially and we were just taking it back to the parking lot yeah we were returning it from whence it came so caitlin's feet really hurt because she was wearing cute yet unsensible shoes naturally first mistake of partying actually first mistake of partying is partying second yeah. is wearing shoes that are not fit for the occasion, yeah, which well, we've all yeah. done. But awesome I was stuff. pushing Caitlin very quickly with a wheelchair, and we almost ran into a bunch of people we know as we were leaving the party, which was really fun. And we yeah. did not stop and say hi. <laughs> You're doing amazing, Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's downhill. We were leaving the party early. They were getting there really late. You know, exactly. we all party differently. We do. And once again, my favorite part was that we did not stop because I remember hearing, oh my god, was that Jessica? <laughs> well, <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're party animals, kids. <laughs> did you ever egg anything? No. Or like teepee anything? No. Me either. Do people really do that? Please leave us a five star review or a comment down below. Have you ever like done some light Halloween spooky themed vandalism? I want to know the story.
please let us know. Like on Halloween, I was too busy getting candy or and or being at a party with my friends. You know? Yeah, same. <laughs> Sorry, are we to believe that Amy Santiago is a detective who's doing like real police work in like three inch heels? Like it was a chunky like boot heel. But it's trying to stay in the office today. Mm. Like, she did pay someone to get out of heels work. But is Amy Santiago the kind of person that would be fashion over function? Because I say no. I feel like she's the kind that has a second pair of shoes in her desk drawer. Mm, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like she has the heels, so she looks professional around the office, but as soon as she needs to be like on her feet, Crocs. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I want a caramel apple. Okay, yes. Can we go get caramel apples later? Yes. I'm gonna take a nap and then we'll go get caramel apples. Nice. I was like, you gotta catch up, babe. Okay, let's talk about it. So, Brooklyn Nine Nine, season one, episode six, Halloween. Thoughts? It's a great episode. It's a. It's a lot of fun. Halloween episodes are always great. <laughs> you will literally never say it's a great episode ever again. I literally said it four times today. Incredible. <laughs> Go team. It is a very fun episode. It is, yeah. It's a good way to kick off Halloween. And I think we decided over on the podcast, this is our first official Watch Me Wasted tradition. Yeah. We're going to watch a Halloween heist episode every single year for the foreseeable future. Uh... Thank you. Wow. Thank you. That was great. I was bubbling up with joy about it. So, got to talk about our favorite characters. We do have to talk about our favorite characters yeah. and also the characters we identify with. I'm having a switch. And also, <laughs> which? Which? <laughs> Halloween joke. But we also have to talk about which characters we identify with because they might not be the same thing. For example, my favorite character is probably Gina. Honestly, <laughs> she's so Gina or Rosa, yeah, because they're just so much fun in very different ways. Like Gina has a lot of fun, chaotic energy that's just all over the place, and she's very unapologetically herself, which is very entertaining to watch. Rosa is the same way, but in like more of a dark, brooding, serious. I wish I could kick ass like Rosa. <laughs> like that's my yeah. deepest wish in my heart. And I'm pretty sure it's not really a surprise to anyone who knows me, but character I identify with, who is probably the most like me, would be Jake Peralta. <laughs> nice to meet you. If you're new here, you'll see. It'll happen eventually. Hi, I'm the resident Jake Peralta. Jake's. Anyway, <laughs> what do you think? Um, I love Captain Hope. He's just like, he's so funny. He's not at all what you expect when you first meet him, you know? True. You think he's gonna be that scary, just like, he's there kind of man. Mm -hmm. But no, he's fun, he's gay, he could joke around, he also knows when to be serious. That's he's got fun. those soft insides. Exactly. It's like his whole kind of person. oatmeal speech. <laughs> Spoilers, but it's very small. <laughs> so, Colt. 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 Colt is your favorite character. Who is the character you identify with? Probably Rosa. Mmm, I feel that for you. Yeah. Just like with the attitude and the... Uh, a little more soft-spoken and reserved. Exactly, yeah. Very interesting. I feel that for you. Maybe not so much as like the violence that she has. Fair. But... Yeah. Well, that's it for Watch Me Waste this week. Let us know! How did you enjoy Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Who is your favorite character? Who do you identify with? What should we watch next? Are you excited for spooky season? Tell us all that and more down in the comments. And while you're there, be sure to smash these buttons because they're cute or whatever. Follow us here and on all of our social media platforms at Watch Me Wasted. But most importantly, get everyone who would be in your extended spooky family to follow us here on YouTube because we have a thousand subscriber giveaway going and you don't want to miss it. But most importantly in this spookiest of seasons, keep it wasted. Bye! Bye.